we have come to the point when this situation can no longer be tolerated. How Abaca strategically looted trillions of dollars on the 23rd of August, 2022. The United States government asserted an agreement to return $23 million from the remaining billions of dollars a Nigerian former military head of state in the 18th century, General Sani Abaka stole from his country, Nigeria. Do you wonder the total amount General Sani Abaka would have insanely looted? In this video, you will learn the facts about the total money Sani Abaka looted, the total money recovered, and the total money expected. Do you love this video? then make sure you like it and subscribe to trending facts it is believed that general sani abaka and his associates siphoned a lot of money in the early 90s they kept some of the stolen funds in some international banks across europe and north and south america unfortunately for him the law enforcement agencies in some of these countries seized the stolen funds regarding their financial laws who was general sani abaka General Sani Abaka was a military man that fought during the civil war in Nigeria's army. He was also a key player in carrying out two coups before he became the Minister of Defense in August 1993 under General Ibrahim Babangida's regime. After the annulment of the 1993 election and the short period of interim government in Nigeria, Abaka became the head of state through a bloodless military coup in November 1993. During his regime, he imprisoned and killed citizens. He used his power with his cohorts to loot the country's funds and treasure. Abaka often used security reasons as excuses to get the Central Bank of Nigeria to approve his financial request. After using truckloads, yes truckloads, to garner all the funds, he transferred most of these assets to banks in countries like Switzerland, Liechtenstein, France, the US, and the UK. Unfortunately, he died mysteriously on the 8th of June, 1998, and could not spend his looted money. Some of the declared money recovered by the Nigeria federal government are $227 million from Liechtenstein, over $1 billion from Switzerland, $458 million from Jersey and France, and $308 million uncovered in Channel Island of Jersey, and $334 million from the US government. As of now, there is still a lot of money that is yet to be recovered from various international banks. If calculated accurately, the story funds would be close to $1 trillion. Collaboration that our governments must continue in order to right the wrongs committed under previous regimes. Combined with the $311.7 million the United States seized and repatriated with the assistance of the Bailiwick of Jersey and the government of Nigeria in 2020, this repatriation brings the total amount of funds repatriated in this case by the United States to more than $334.7 million. As a result of today's agreement, $23 million will be transferred to the Nigerian government which, through the Nigerian Sovereign Investment Authority, will use the funds to continue the construction of three key infrastructure projects located in strategic economic zones throughout the country. The second Niger Bridge, the Lagos Ibadan Expressway, and the Abu- Do you love this educative video? Then make sure you subscribe to Trending Facts.